chat more about the story. Water Resources Analyst from Pretoria, Karen Bossman, who you just saw in that report, is joining me again on the news for an expert's view on the situation now. Karen, thank you so much for your time here on the news. But I, I want to pick your thoughts first on how things have come so far, uh, despite all efforts to try and nip the, the outbreak uh, before it, it spreads to other parts of the country. Well, I don't know if it is um, a lack of communication or a lack of coordination. I've been trying to keep my eye on the news, but it is a bit concerning that only today, uh, more than two weeks after the outbreak, that uh, a, a site visit was made from the president and the some ministers to the Royal Switch Works, which is um, very neglected, very um overflowing over flooded with uh too much sewage coming in and uh that basically discharges untreated sewage right upstream from where the timber sewage uh, water treatment works then abstracts water for the people of Haman's scroll how did it get to this is that i don't think there is enough knowledge amongst politicians on a local and even national level about how important it is to ensure maintenance and ensure upgrading of our water purification and our sewage treatment works on a regular basis mm. and it pains me to see that you know um, this person was appointed to do a, a certain job but he has already been fingered for corruption and another one is in this municipality the mayor drives a new brand new vehicle, but there is no money for chemicals for the water treatment facility. I see. That is, unfortunately, where we are. L let's talk about the cause of the outbreak. Mayor Faswani says, we have tested all the water and it's come out negative. We cast our, our net wide. You, on the other hand, say, go test the treatment, the, the treatment plants. Why is that important at this point? Well, you see, cholera has... Um, incubation time and it it takes one to five days for it to present itself in the community so you don't just go and willy-nilly grab samples now two weeks after the outbreak of a cholera uh, uh, epidemic and think you're going to see anything in the water that you're taking samples of now you're not going to see it you should analyze the samples that were taken three weeks ago and see if you can find the traces of um, the cholera in those samples taken three weeks ago. It doesn't help you You uh, um, say, but now there's nothing because it is an epidemic disease that comes and goes. It's endemic in South Africa and in 80 other countries throughout the world. So people are carriers and only 10% of people who are carriers actually get sick. I can be a carrier and not even know it. And there's no way that you can find the source by, you know, taking samples here, there, and everywhere. You mm. have to be proactive and coordinated. And, and you start with the patients who has uh, passed away, and you start with the patients who are currently sick, and you interview them, and you find out is there a common denominator, that they buy food from the same place, that they attend the same funeral. Is there anything that links them? And if there's nothing that links them, then the only other cause can be the water supply, and you determine it by way of elimination. But I don't see that kind of targeted interview of patients or the results of that, and we also don't see any of the results. And you know, they say, tell us, we've taken samples and there's nothing, but they don't tell us when did you take that sample and were those samples taken before um, the disease started to... to um, present itself in, a, in an epidemic way, in, in an epidemic manner. Indeed. Karen, uh, thank you so much for your time. This is all time uh, we'll allow here on the news. Karen Bosman is a water resources uh, expert. Mm -hmm.